Home opener between USF and number 24 Akron. Long postseason history between the teams. First regular season home matchup. And in this one, a gritty scoreless game until the 40th minute. Senior Lucas Baldine squeezes one past the left side of the goalie. One to nothing, USF at the half. Then the second, Spazuje Stefanovic came up big. Three saves in the second half and in overtime, keeping Akron for most of this game off the scoreboard. Bulls had their opportunities, though. Five shots in the second half, including here in the 56th minute. Melosi shot blocked. Terry Delancey shot wide, and USF still maintained that one nothing lead. Akron finally, though, did capitalize, and it came on a penalty kick. In the 72nd minute, squeezing one pass underneath the goalie, game tied 1-1, to we're headed to overtime. At the end of the first overtime, USF had another brilliant opportunity, creating some havoc deep into the Akron defensive end. It was Terry Delancey. Once again, he had some space, and he just squeezes one across the front of the goal, tipped away, and then on the back end, no one there for USF. So disaster averted for Akron. We're headed to the second overtime. And at the end of the second overtime, just 30 seconds left from this game becoming a tie. Lucas Baldine with a timely touch, squeezes it past the goalie, the turn, and the fire into the back of the net. The hero of this one, Lucas Baldine, scores both goals. USF wins 2-1. to one. Here's his thoughts after the game. I mean, I went down for, for the PK. It wasn't called, so... And then I went back, I see the guys fighting, and then I see the ball coming my way. I mean, I mean, if it wasn't for the guys fight right there, I would never get the ball right there. So and when I turned, I just, just took my shot, but, but it, if it wasn't for the guys' effort, I wouldn't be able to get those two shots on goal. I thought the guys performed very well. I definitely feel like we deserved the game with the amount of chances we created. I thought that keeper on a few opportunities really did well, so I, I was pleased. Uh, and I told my guys, regardless of the result, the, the effort, the work rate, the bench coming in, uh, that's the ingredients to win college soccer games, where, uh, you know, how much effort they put into it, how they were communicating with each other. So, you know, we're close to getting fully healthy, uh, but now we're also learning that we have to work very hard in college soccer games to, to be able to win them. I mean, it's a great win for us. Akron Akron's a, is a top program in the country. Those guys, they, they've been sat in the bar for a long time, but I think we, we're stepping up. We have, we have a great heart. We have a, a team that, that plays very well. We have a bunch of guys from a, from a bunch of different countries, so that they give us a little bit of grit, and that's, that's, that's what we believe in. We believe in fighting, believe in playing, and believe in putting our, our stamp on every game we play. The Bulls grab their first win of the season. It's a quick turnaround for USF. They're back in action right here at Corbett Stadium Sunday at noon against Portland.